Welcome to part 2 of the Go Anywhere GoPro mount videos. In this video, I will show you how to print it out, and then how to make the straps, and how to attach it to anything you want. If you haven't seen the first video where I model it, click up here in the corner. Now let's begin in Cura. And the first thing I want to do is rotate this so it sits flat on the print bed. This will give it pretty good strength. Um, and these guys won't break off because they're solid. I tried printing it before with it standing up like how it just was and these parts could easily be broken off. So for that reason I'm going to print it up like this. Um, that way you don't have to worry about the layers delaminating when you push, put pressure on it as you tighten it, tighten the strap onto it. I'm going to do this with a 0.2 millimeter layer height and uh, 0.8 bottom top thickness 100% fill density because I want this to be strong doing a 70 millimeter per second speed uh, printing it at 235 degrees Celsius and a bed temperature of 90 degrees I'm printing this in ABS because I want it to have a little bit of flex to it a little bit of give uh, as you tighten down onto it PLA is more brittle and it'll just break off it's, it's very strong, but if you put too much, it'll just break and won't give any. And because this is going to be ABS, make sure the cooling fan is off. And with that, we can go ahead and print it. All right, let's prep the bed by spraying some hairspray. Turn the printer on and preheat the printer to ABS settings. Select the file on the printer and click print. What you need to make this is a one inch nylon strap, ladder locking buckles, threading, your GoPro camera, and mounting hardware. The tools you need are some scissors, a sewing needle, and a lighter. After measuring the strap, cut it to your desired length. You can make a few straps of different lengths for whatever your need is. Next, take the lighter and singe the edge of the strap. This will melt it together, preventing it from fraying in the future. Next is to attach the buckle to the strap. Grab your sewing needle and some thread and thread it through the needle. Get your buckle and identify the top and the bottom. This is the top and this is the bottom. Note the teeth on the last bar of the thumb tab is the bottom. Next, get your strap and feed it through the first hole on the left from the bottom. Wrap it around the second bar and feed it through to the bottom. Give about three quarters of an inch of the strap wrapped on the bottom. Grab your threaded needle and begin sewing along the bar. Leave a tail of about six inches of thread to help knot it at the end. Get some tape and tape the tail to the strap. This will help it from getting tangled. Continue on sewing. Ultimately, we want to make a rectangle with an X through it. Sewing each side two to three times should give it plenty of strength. Take your time and be careful to make sure it doesn't tangle and knot itself as you sew. This can be really annoying and get bad enough that it will cause you to restart if you can't get the knot out. When done, remove the tape from the strap to get the tail of the thread. Get your scissors and trim away the excess thread on the other side. Leave enough so that you can easily triple knot the tails. You will cut away the excess after this. When you're done, it should look something like this. Next is to attach it somewhere. Attaching the mount is pretty easy. Loosely place it in its desired location. Feed the strap through the back side of the middle hole on the buckle. Then, 
feed it back through the last hole next to the round thumb tab. This will cover up the top teeth. The strap should come out of the bottom of the buckle. The mount may have moved so readjust it where you want it to be and pull tight to ensure a good fit. Then all you have to do is attach the GoPro to the mount like you normally would and you are ready to go. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe for more of my videos. A link to the CAD file is in the description below. Hopefully this will inspire you to make something for yourself. Until next time, stay creative.